Let's all cut the shit. You hate going to that job Monday through Friday working a little booty patootie off for that boss who couldn't give two shit. He couldn't give two, he probably couldn't even give one about what's going on in your personal life. You hate it, I hate it, we all hate it, so let's get into it. You want to build your own schedule, be your own boss, spend time with friends and family, do what you want to do, retire your mother, spend what little time we have left on this earth with people who actually love you. But you cannot do that, friend, if you have a corporate job sucking 40 plus hours a week from you. You can't. You ain't gonna be able to do all that, have all that. If you have some nine to five sucking 40 hours of your week from you. So who is coming to save the day? Passive income. In this video, we are gonna talk about how to leave that soul sucking nine to five in the past. So if that's something that you might be interested in, then go ahead and keep on watching, okay? Okay. You might be wondering what the heck is passive income or you might know what passive income is and you might just need a few examples of what you can do to build passive income. Passive income is a type of unearned income that is acquired with minimal labor to earn or maintain. I kind of dibble dabbled back and forth whether or not I wanted to use that word unearned because it very much so to me is earned. I think it's more so a thing of with passive income you do the work on the front end and then after you do the work on the front end it makes money for you so there's very minimal effort required after you do the work on the front end passive income can come in many forms shapes and sizes to make it simpler i like to break it up into physical and digital you could have a physical thing or you could have a digital thing to me a physical thing would be like a rental property i live in a townhouse right now i rent it from somebody there is somebody who is making passive income off of me renting this townhouse me and my husband they did the work on the front end which was building the townhouse say Saving the money for the townhouse or applying for the loan, getting it built, finding the contractors, getting the whole thing thrown up. But then after that, after you get past all the building and the paperwork aspect of it, and you just start renting them out. Now this is just money that's falling in the landlord's pocket. Another thing that I consider to be a physical form of passive income is renting out your car. There are apps like Turo where it's kind of like an Airbnb, but for cars. You can go on there and there are regular everyday people. Like I have a Chevy Malibu. I could rent out my Chevy Malibu if I wanted to, to people who don't have cars and I could charge a set rate for it, have them come and pick the car up, drop it back off to me when you're done using it. And then I just made money. I didn't really have to do anything except sign up for Turo and then probably get some extra insurance on my car. So other than that, the money is falling into my pocket. The people are coming to me, running my car, bringing my car back, and then we're done. Now going over into the digital side. Obviously, you all are on YouTube. You probably know a whole lot about digital marketing and selling digital products. I feel like there are so many creators talking about digital marketing and selling digital products right now. It's really hot. It's a really big thing. And people have been doing it for years. When you sell a digital product, you might be thinking, OK, but what are you selling? You're selling budgeting sheets. You're selling invitations, daily planners, wedding cards, anything artsy craft see that you could buy from the store you could make a digital version of it and sell it as a digital version i mean especially we are in the time of ipads right now ipads are running the schools running the colleges people want an ipad because they want to use notability and good notes and they want to track their day and plan with their digital planners i mean it's a big thing now where you're selling your digital products is where you may see some cost but even on etsy it's not very much to sell your digital products on there so you may be investing a little bit but for the most part you're just investing time and then a few dollars number four is social media now obviously you're watching this youtube video right now there is a huge potential to make passive income off of social media youtube i would say is very much og in the game so clearly on youtube people get on here they post videos they talk about whatever their niche is whatever the topic is or maybe they just post vlogs that has the potential to make you a nice chunk of change depending on how many people are watching it how long they're watching it it has the potential to make you a lot of passive income the great thing about youtube is people can watch youtube at any time so you could be making money at 
three o'clock in the morning because there is a teenage girl somewhere watching your video and you're probably asleep. But since you uploaded that video and you posted it and now it's on YouTube forever until you delete it, now your video that you posted has the potential to make you money forever. So if you have a video that was popping back in 2015, I mean, it's possible that still in 2024, it's still popping and it's still making you money. That's the amazing thing about passive income on YouTube. Now, this is not a tutorial on how to make passive income on YouTube, so I'm not gonna go too deep into it, but just know that social media is another stream of passive income if it's something that you're interested in and something that you wanna do. The next passive income stream that I'm going to talk about is Amazon seller. I have an uncle that actually is an Amazon seller and he is living his best life. OK, I am being so dead serious. In a nutshell, Amazon seller is where you go into these discount stores and you buy everyday items like you could go into five and below and buy sunscreen or scissors or pool noodles for a cheap price. Two dollars, three dollars, four dollars. Stock them up in your house. Create an Amazon seller account and get on there and resell those items for profit on Amazon. I mean, I know when I'm saying it out loud, it kind of sounds illegal, but it actually is not. I mean, people do this with all kinds of brands. They'll do it with common brands that you find in Walmart, like Hanes. I mean, who doesn't need underwear and socks, right? And there's going to be some mom somewhere who doesn't feel like going to Walmart to get socks, who's just going to pay for the convenience of getting it off Amazon so that they can come straight to her door. And that, my friend, is how you are going to make your money and the last one that I'm going to talk about is Amazon KDP. Amazon KDP is in a nutshell where you create a journal design on Canva or whatever your preferred platform is. You get on the Amazon KDP website, make an account, you upload your design onto Amazon KDP and they will then turn that design into a physical journal for you. When you upload your design, you create a listing for it on Amazon and you don't get charged until somebody buys your journal. Now, a lot of people have been saying Amazon KDP is very oversaturated now. I'm not sure. I don't sell on Amazon KDP anymore. I did used to and I will never be the one to say that you aren't going to make any money on there because, hey, Amazon KDP may just be your thing you never know try it and see and you're probably thinking as my husband would say okay Nishé, I hear what you're saying about passive income but how do I pick how do I choose which passive income stream is right for me and to that friend I would say look at your strengths do you find joy in sitting in front of a computer and designing something or editing something and sitting there for hours until it is literally the most perfect thing that you have ever seen or does the idea of doing that literally make you want to throw up in your mouth which one is it believe you would find joy in doing something like that then digital products or a youtube channel might be just the thing that you need to do on the contrary if you get anxiety from me even talking about designing something car renting or amazon seller may be better for you personally and one thing that i do want to mention about this is whenever you're integrating these side hustles into your life you have to have balance if you do not have balance you will crash and burn faster than i did when i tried to play volleyball dead serious you have to have a plan at how you're going to enter the side hustle into your life friend every day I find myself hoping that money is just gonna fall into my bank account and that it will fall in there every single day so that I don't have to do anything but watch it fall but for whatever reason I wake up and it just doesn't happen so for that matter for that reason we have to kind of integrate this into our work schedule and work on it until then it can replace our job completely. Consistency. As outdated as this advice is, trust me, the word consistency at this point makes me want to throw up. But consistency is the only way that you're going to see results. Regardless of what it is, YouTube, you need consistency. Amazon seller, you need consistency because you have to be keeping up with the trends and what people are buying. Even renting out your car, you need consistency because in order for people to feel comfortable renting your car from you, they are going to want to see some reviews. Not get me wrong, consistency is hard because who has energy after working 40 hours a week? I mean, you only get two days a week to yourself and then you have to have a social life still. You have to grocery shop. You have to take care of kids. If you're a parent, you have to be healthy and work out and meal prep and all these things that you need and pray and go to church and all these things you need to live a full life out of seven days. You only get two days to fit all of those 
things into. Like, it's kind of insane. And it brings me back to my point and why building this passive income is so important. I'm gonna make a video later on talking specifically about how to balance your work life with your side hustle and with all of your other things. I'm gonna give you my tips and tricks. So we're not talking about that specifically in this video, but I did wanna mention that these passive income streams are not going to be easy especially not in the beginning but this is a perfect time to say if you like videos like this and you want to hear me talk about this more then click that subscribe button and stick around and join my family this is the land of the home girls and the home boys okay and also too while we're thinking about it leave a comment down below and tell me which passive income stream you are thinking about getting into after watching this video i would love to know the moral of the story is there are too many ways to make passive income out here for you to be wasting your time and energy on that nine to five. I mean, when you think about it, what do you have to lose? You're either going to work your nine to five, give a lot of energy to building passive income and potentially build a successful business, a successful career outside of your nine to five and potentially be able to quit your job and potentially be able to retire your parents and potentially be able to travel and do whatever you want to do because you have the flexibility and the fluidity to do so. Or you can just keep waking up for your nine to five and depending on that check, from your manager every two weeks and then nothing will change in your life and you can do that until the end of time i mean when you think about it you really don't have anything to lose now this is in no way shape or form a video to demean the people who do that because some people genuinely enjoy working their nine to five clearly there has to be some people who enjoy working for other people if everybody wanted to leave their nine to five then we wouldn't have any lawyers we wouldn't have any doctors we wouldn't have any nurses we wouldn't have plumbers and, and people who are really important to keep in our world going round and round and round. So if you're watching this video and you're like, I don't want to hear anything you have to say because I love my nine to five. I love that for you homegirl or homeboy. And I really hope that you find the most success in your nine to five or in your corporate baddie job. I really do. This is for my peeps who may not feel like nine to five life is for them. And honestly, entrepreneurship is a calling. It really is. Everybody is not called to be an entrepreneur. Just like like everybody is not called to make YouTube videos. It's a thing. I'm serious. If you feel like passive income is for you, then this video is for you. And so is this channel. So go ahead and subscribe and keep watching. Now make sure you leave me a like on this video and look around on my channel. If you like what you see, then go ahead and subscribe. If you look around on my channel and you're a little bit confused, it's because I am going through a period of discovery on my channel right now. And I'm really trying to make content that I'm more passionate about. Um, so there are going to be videos on my channel that may or may not go with the flow of what we're talking about today, but that's okay because I'm going to make more videos about this and my channel will eventually become a more inclusive space for my passive incomers and my people who are interested in a career in healthcare. If you didn't know, I do work in clinical research right now. I am a clinical research coordinator, so I do work in healthcare. That is my nine to five. So I'm not saying that I am going to give up on making healthcare content. I'm just saying that I am going to focus more right now on making content that I'm passionate about. And right now I'm passionate about helping people leave their nine to fives and build a more fulfilling lifestyle for themselves. Build a life that you love, that makes you excited to go to bed at night. It makes you excited to wake up in the morning and continue working the next day. I mean, that is what we're trying to do here. That is what I am passionate about. So that is what I'm going to be talking about for the next couple of weeks. So don't be confused if you look at my channel and you're like, what is going on here? It's coming full circle, friend. It's coming full circle. Thank you all so much for liking this video, for watching this video. I hope to see you in the next one. XOXO, and I ain't ashamed. Topping up the mess, drop it in the water, let the daughter find an image with the rest. She'll be learning how to breathe. Spinning through identity, reveal another pretty little scheme. Save her mind. Hold her hand. And don't believe a lie.